All right, hey Encounter family, welcome to Community Groups 2023. Uh, we've been going through some testimonies from some different people in our church that maybe you had never known or talked to this season. I hope you've gotten a lot about it out of it or learned a lot about some people that at the church that maybe you've never had a conversation with and now uh, you can know a little bit about them and say hi to them and tell them you appreciated and enjoyed their testimony. Also, the scripture tells us that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, and by the word of our testimony. And so hearing others' testimonies allows me to say, wow, if God did it for them, they can do it for me. He can do it for me too. And so I hope you're able to take something from each of these testimonies, uh, including tonight's. I'm sitting here with Pastor Adam, our E-Kids pastor, and I uh, asked him to come in and share a little bit about his testimony and uh, what God's uh, done in his life. And I'm just praying that it speaks to you and maybe there's some things you're going through tonight or, or that you can relate to in his history that are just going to uh, allow the Lord to speak to you through his testimony. So, Adam, tell us what's up. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Uh, it started at the beginning. Uh, mostly, if you don't know me already, I've been in the church my whole life, like as far back as I can remember. Um, church of God from like age 10, I would say. And uh, so I've al it's always been part of life for me. And um, I guess until like the recent what was it august i think we went through deliverance and everything um not really how long realizing how long i carried stuff yeah so just a little bit of background on that our church has been working uh larry and Jana babel uh they've been in here and talked and given testimonies i believe last yeah. season and uh but they've uh, had a history in doing some different uh deliverance type ministries and so we're starting to put together some of our leadership's already been through this thing we're calling the healing encounter to dig into your past and find healing for some deep uh, trauma and different things that people have been through. And so that's going to be um, coming up. They're training other leaders to do it as well. So if that's something that maybe the, the Lord puts on your heart, uh, that's going to be available uh, coming soon. My wife's working on the packet right now. Yeah, I, I can't wait. That's exciting. And that's that was one of the biggest things for me, getting out of that, like just going over my past, um, not really realizing how much I blocked out. Like mm. There was so much like, we had to dig and like I couldn't remember and uh, we call it I guess you could call it trauma whatever you wanted to want to call it um, label it but I just flat out blocked out wow. for different reasons you know what I mean I don't my parents you know they've been married I'm what 40 so they've been married 40 years Wow. so it's not like I went through anything like that but um, like the way I like it the biggest struggle that I've had like with church after like even after you know rededicating my life to the lord years ago and stuff like that is i always viewed it as work mm -hmm. everything was work no matter like everything was work and that's that was kind of the model like whether it was intentional or that's just how i viewed it um and the enemy used that to distort and isolate me because it was just like i didn't want any part of it like yeah. you know what i mean i didn't i didn't want to deal with it i didn't want to have to uh, put up with it and I would just shut me down and I would get frustrated and just push away and um, it's almost like you had like a I have to go to church yeah. rather than I get to go and worship the Lord like yes. oh no we have to do these I have I have things I have to do today rather than no no I get to rest in the Lord and worship today yes it was it was a that was exactly it, it was a check in the box instead of you know I, it's an honor that I get to come to his house and honor him and worship him and it's a joy and it's a benefit and it's a it's a revitalization you know what i mean for the way it should be and uh is we just literally had this talk with uh aislin and aj yesterday at we are, had family breakfast and everything and sitting down and i said that's why we're, it's so important like we've never even at i was still 18 and paying rent and i was forced fed church like you're mm -hmm. like you're going to church mm -hmm. whether you want to or not you're going to church and so at that point i'm 18 i have a job i'm doing my own thing like no, I don't want that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Instead of making that, and that's what we've tried to do with them is to, to make it a, a, a show it that it's a good thing and not, right? You have to do this. Like, mm -hmm. you should want to do this. We want it to be a conscious decision, and for them to see the a the benefit of it, and more so the relationship between them and God, and that's what we we mm -hmm. wanted to model and foster and stuff. And until and. That's why I, I said, you know, g until going through that, like, I didn't realize how much of that stuff that I carried for so long, like, just weight and dead baggage. And it just, it completely 
Like, there's so many, it affected so many areas of my life. Like, I had no joy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had no, um, I, so no, I, no sense of belonging. Like, and that was, uh, you know, would cause issues between uh, Jess and I. Like, you know, the story when I was back in Michigan and she was supposed to be handing over the reins and, you know what I mean? And then I was forced to come back out here. With, you know, everybody knows how much I love building, mm -hmm. you know, and I was doing, you know, back after my passion and not at all like, you know, in completely in tune with what God had in store. And that that's what consumed me because it's like, oh church mm -hmm. you know what i mean and that's all i saw was like oh church like come on like and you know and i would get wrapped up in that and then it just drove me into like i hate arizona I had no good reason mm -hmm. you know what i mean it was completely a lie mm -hmm. it was just let it was me like a like the external desert was like a symbol of like this desert in your soul at the same yeah time. <laughs> yeah this dry place it's crazy and I, that's it's 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 insane to me like going into going into that and the revelation to get from it, it was just like insane. And like, I, I have a lot of people talk to me after and like, I seem like a different person because before, I mean, church was over, you know, I'm go sit in the car, I'm ready to go. Like I'm mm. spent, I'm done. Like didn't want to get to know anybody, even all the get togethers, you know, everybody's parties and stuff. I'd isolate myself and stuff. And it's insane to me, like looking back, cause it's still like, you know, last night, you know, the, you know, at, the wedding and everything, mm -hmm. I would have been off in a corner by myself, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, doing my own thing, being my own, just sitting there like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just smug. Congratulations, by the way, to my mother-in-law and yes. her uh, new husband, Frank. Yeah, awesome ceremony. They're married and that was celebrated last night. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, but yeah, like that, that's just, it's insane to me how, how much I let the enemy win that battle. Yeah. Like, I just, um, and, I, and it, it, for me, that's, I think, the biggest thing I would say to anybody uh, to get out of this is, like, yeah, like, A, don't carry unnecessary stuff, but, like, that's so much, it's so important to have that relationship and to have the right focus and mm. to be, you know what I mean, and not <laughs> let the enemy twist that on you you know it's crazy i was talking to someone about this a couple weeks ago with it's interesting this trauma or this pain or this baggage from our past it's like if you have that you can receive the same information i receive but i'm completely like this is great but the same person with baggage is like no this is this is this is terrible i hate this and you're yeah. like you're receiving the same information I'm receiving, but you're hating it, and I'm saying this is amazing. Yep. All because of what's happening, like in our heart, right? Oh yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a, just the difference between me and my wife. Like, um, obviously, she was, you know, here and made the choice, and you know, got to know you guys. And I mean, we're completely different, polar opposites as far as people, and um, it's just be it's been that way. She's like, oh hey, you know, so and so wants to do this, and I'm like. Uh, so and so wants to do, oh, hey, they're going here for lunch. Oh, and it just, yeah. like, I wouldn't even give it a thought or a chance. It was just yeah. immediately to the negative. Yeah, right? immediately, like that. That was that's that's probably the second biggest thing. Uh, you gotta find a way to let God push all that negativity out of your life, because it will just absolutely ruin you, mm -hmm. like everything. It was to the point where, like, her and I, like, we we couldn't talk. Because I would instantly, the second we would talk about anything, negative. Mm -hmm. Like I don't even like. It was it was shocking to sit there and think like, wow, how could you possibly, like, but again, I know where it came from. It's generational. Mm. Like I after going through, you know, deliverance and everything, like, there's been like my sister's. Uh, she just had her fourth baby boy, mm -hmm. and when she told us how she told my parents and it was instant like why you're, you're going through nursing school like will's trying to start his business and i'm like wow like you sit back and and realize like just you know you get that revelation like the holy spirit brings all that stuff to your attention you're like i'm like mm -hmm. wow like i'm glad I, I i cut that tie now because i could already see you know some of that getting passed to my children 
and I'm like, nope, that's got to stop right now. Like, yeah. just I'm, you're not gonna continue taking the baggage that I had. That baggage is gone, and we're gonna move forward. And mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit and God are gonna, you know, mm-hmm. change this for us. And He absolutely can. It's just an, it's amazing how uh, you can see the relationship and the dynamic changing. It's crazy how much weight our words have on our kids, right? Oh, it's so like, crazy. When we talk, we've been talking about this on Sundays. I know you've been back in kids. I don't know if you've caught it, but we've been talking about guarding these gates like in our heart. Mm-hmm. Like we're guarding the gates and we have to guard our kids' gates and what, we, what we're putting into our kids' heart, you know, yep. and because yep. it gets in there. And that's why the Bible says guard your heart. And so yeah. it's important. Like, you're, like you have this revelation now, so it's like you can be more careful of what we're putting into our kids' hearts. Yep. Like not the same thing I had inputted or you had inputted. Like, no, no, yeah. we're, we're creating new you know yeah new generational thinking yeah and that's it too and i told we didn't again yesterday at breakfast we were talking about the kids and i said you know a lot of parents it's the do as i say not as i do it's not an excuse or anything it's i don't want you to make the same mistakes that i did i don't want you to you know you Mm -hmm. know fall down that same rabbit hole like when i was growing up i mean i was a good kid followed the rules you know good grades did as I was told for the most part. I mean, you know, I, you're, you're a kid. You always, you know, make, you know, mistakes and stuff like that. But I just the the mental beat down, like my, you know, no self-esteem or whatever. Like it, it's so your words, they carry mm-hmm. so much if you just I mean, and that's where you get, you know, the, the deeper you go with God and you, you know, you have that relationship with God and the Holy Spirit and you read your word and you realize how much weight each and every little word can uh can carry Mm -hmm. you know so it's it's hard uh and that's what that's just it's huge carrying that you know for so long and then having that weight lifted it's just it's unreal yeah it's almost like your eyes are open now where you can see the strategy of the enemy over your mind and your heart and that's the beauty of yep. it. And I think it ties in well with what we've been doing on Sundays and where we've been going is we need to, you know, guard this and, and be careful with what we're putting into the next generation. And oh, so huge. it's cool to see when we get free, our kids get free too. You know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. literally the breaking those generational type things and stuff. Yeah, it's just it's awesome. huge. Yeah. And that's like I've obviously with the first two between military and construction, traveling for construction and stuff like that. It's a different dynamic between those two and the younger two, but to be able to see how amazing the older two are with the younger two and to see, like, how, you know what I mean, see that model in action. And, like, before you could see, like, you know, before this, you'd get irritated, you know what I mean? The kid run, you know, your kids run up, and you're like, what do you want? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And you can just you see that, mm-hmm. that de- dejection on their face. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, because, I, I mean, I had no patience before. Like, mm-hmm. I was completely selfish with my time and everything and not realizing just how quick that reaction, I mean, your yeah. kid your kid want, you know, wants you for a moment. Yeah, you know, they want you to come help with this, come help with that and whatnot. But that's that's right. a joy as a parent. You know exactly. what I mean? You think about it. You're, you're modeling that to, to have them help others. Yeah, it's like a prison, like you're in your own mind, like can't even enjoy your life. Oh, yeah. I've had the same. I mean, I think every parent has these moments, but I asked for the Holy Spirit to help me because like, even like a month ago, I had a moment where one of my kids was playing a sport and they were like, hey, you know, they're just learning. They're like, can, can you come outside and practice with me? And I was like, no, like I just got home. Like I did. I had a busy day. I don't want to do that. And then the Holy Spirit's like, what are you doing? And I'm yep. like, all right, go get your ball. <laughs> the kick in the gut. <laughs> like, this is more important than every, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, you're going to waste this moment that you've been, you know, everything you do is for the Lord and for your family, and now your family, like, yeah. and you're like, oh, no, I don't have time for you. It's like, what are we thinking? Yeah, it's so easy. And, it, I mean, the the world only makes it easier between, you know, phone and just the busyness of life and events and stuff like that. It's so much easier to get to get wrapped up in it, but that's where – it's that, that intentional dedication to, you know, your your Bible reading, the whole, you know, spending that time in the secret place with the Holy Spirit and having that, like you said, the, that guard, that, you know, defense. There's one now sneaking up on us. That's the youngest one right there. <laughs> <laughs> the little Adam. Yes, <laughs> the little clone, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, that's – it's just – it's huge. 
And that's one thing, like, with us, um, spending time together, being more intentional with that, and praying, you know, over everything, over each other, you know, Mm -hmm. and then the family and just the breakdown from there and just spending that time to build that defense. Because if you don't, like, you always talk, it's like a muscle. If you don't Mm -hmm. exercise it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not going to – it's yep. not going to help. So yep. It's awesome, man. Yeah, it's it's crazy, but that's I'd say that's probably the biggest thing for me, the biggest change that I've seen in myself is just uh letting go of all of that and realizing how much that it affected me and just my ability to communicate and be a human. Like it's crazy. <laughs> Last night I I I mean anybody that knows me up until this point like I don't I don't like get, getting dressed up. Mm-hmm. And that was actually fun. I was like tell Jess I'm like hey we should try you know like once a quarter to you know go someplace nice where we have to dress up and you know what yeah. I mean and she's like some of these things it's crazy cause she'll still stop and like who are you <laughs> I actually I, I, I forced her to go shopping <laughs> for an outfit for last night and everything she's like who who are you I'm like same dude That's I've cool, been man. just you know being obedient yeah. and not letting not letting the enemy get his foot in the door so, mm-hmm. yeah, for everybody out there, um, that's the biggest thing I could say is have that relationship and be intentional and let the Holy Spirit show you the areas that you need to let go of and not carry that weight and let the enemy lie to mm-hmm. you. Like, it's huge. Yeah. I think the verse that comes to my mind is the verse that says, with, you know, to love the Lord with all your your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength, and how we love the Lord with all of our, our mind and our heart is we surrender our thoughts, right? We yes. surrender all that and say, Lord, replace my thoughts and my heart and my yes. trauma and my baggage with your thoughts, you know, yes. and your desires. So yes. do you want to pray that over people before we close? Yes. Just pray that the Lord would give them the mind of Christ. And yes. God, we come before you. We're so thankful for these opportunities we have to sit and discuss you, God. And I just pray that Everybody within the sound of our voice tonight, God, that you would just, we bind our minds to your mind, our heart to your heart, God, and uh, we choose to let your thoughts invade, and we, we, we take captive all any thought that's not of you, and we cast it aside, God. We, I just pray over everyone that they would be willing and obedient to letting all this stuff go. There's so much baggage, it's so, so much to carry with each and every day if we let it, but if we just let you be the be the lead and take control and lead us and guide us god it's just so much easier when we can't give you enough honor and praise god and we thank you in jesus name i pray amen Amen. all right so i hope you guys enjoyed you can sit together and and discuss this talk about you know maybe some areas in your life that the enemy's just been stealing your joy maybe some thoughts about yourself or some things from the past that have really affected the way you approach life now, and we can surrender that to the Lord, talk about it together, pray with one another, enjoy each other's company, and we will see you in two weeks. We have one more meeting uh, this season for community groups, so we hope you'll make it there. Thank you all for coming or watching online. God bless you all. Have an awesome night.